my first short tip is to always practice ventriloquism in your character's voice. The reason why I say this is because when you do your own voice using your ventriloquist mouth, when you don't move your lips, your, your own voice sounds muffled and that can give you the impression that you're doing it wrong. It's just you're not, it's just your voice just sounds muffled when you do it like this. Because usually when you speak, your voice has more room to make than that, to make the sound. Rather than doing it like this. So it sounds a little bit different. And that can give you the impression that you're doing it wrong. It doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong, it just means that the voice is muffled. So if you add a character voice, then it takes away that because it doesn't sound muffled. That's just what the character's voice sounds like. So always use a character's voice when doing ventriloquism. It'll save you a lot of time thinking, oh, why, why am I doing it wrong? Why does it sound muffled when all the others don't sound muffled? So it'll save you a lot of time and also get you into the practice of switching from voice to voice, switching from your own voice to the puppet's voice. And if you've got two puppets on stage at the same time, then you've got to get used to using each puppet's voice when you're doing that character. So always use your character's voice.